Hey everyone, this is Millionaire Mentality, your source to grow your financial IQ, build your wealth, and take control of your life. A lot of people have been losing a lot of money with their crypto investments, and not just because the prices of practically every crypto asset are down big this year, but because some of the most popular crypto platforms have become insolvent or bankrupt due to being over leveraged during a bear market. Warren Buffett said it perfectly when he stated, only when the tide goes out do you discover who's been swimming naked. And as it turns out, so far, we have learned that Celsius, Voyager, CoinFlex, and Vault have all been swimming naked and millions of customers who cannot withdraw their crypto are left wondering if they'll ever see their money again and if so, just how much of it will they ever get back? It remains to be seen whether any other exchanges will fail, which is why it's important to self-custody the majority of your crypto in this uncertain market. I feel very fortunate to have withdrawn all of my assets off both Celsius and Voyager just days before they suspended withdrawals. Many others aren't so lucky, and the bear market isn't to blame. The customers withdrawing their funds in masses aren't to blame. The blame lies solely in the excessive and irresponsible lending practices of customer funds by Voyager, Celsius, 3AC, Anchor Protocol, and many others in order to generate high yields. Translation, these companies got greedy. If there is a silver lining to having lost money in any of these projects, it's the ability to walk away wiser with some very important lessons learned. In today's video, I will cover eight of the most important lessons you should take away from everything that's been transpiring in the crypto markets. But before I do that, stop what you're doing right now to go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. So let's get right into it with lesson number one. Don't chase yields. As we're seeing in real time, the higher the yield, the higher the risk. And the higher the risk, the less sustainable it is for the long run. Voyager offered 9% yield on your USDC. Celsius had some of the best yield on Bitcoin for a central platform with up to 8.53%. And look at Anchor Protocol, offering you a savings account where you could earn 20% annual yield. Well, we have all seen how that played out. There are even decentralized finance apps like Titano advertising 102,000 annual percentage yield. And as you can guess, that project didn't end well either. Prioritize the security and accessibility of your funds over how much yield you are earning. All right, lesson number two, challenge who you let influence you. If your mom or dad are uneducated about personal finance and are broke, should you go to them for money advice? Probably not. If you have a toothache, should you go to the chiropractor for an adjustment? Probably not. We all consume endless amounts of information every day. Be sure that those you listen to and let influence you have the experience, education, and credentials to back up their statements and opinions. Listen to experts, not those who don't have the credentials or have an ulterior motive or incentive for telling you what they are telling you. But always remember that you are in control of your money and at the end of the day, you and only you are accountable for your investment decisions. Lesson number three, read the fine print. When you sign up for most of these crypto lending platforms, you're required to agree to the terms of use before your account gets opened. I know they can be long and full of boring legal jargon, but don't be afraid to seek clarification from the company or a trusted expert if you don't understand something. And don't agree to the terms if you aren't comfortable. Did you know that if Celsius becomes insolvent, you become a creditor and Celsius is free to use your crypto to repay their debts without any legal recourse from you? And did you know that Voyager makes you waive your rights to bring forth a class action lawsuit against them? Had you known these things would you have still opened accounts and deposited as much money as you did all right lesson number four diversification matters if you have all of your money invested in just one crypto and have it all deposited on just one crypto exchange you have a lot of concentration risk if you want to still keep some money on a central exchange in this market and accept that risk do not keep it all on one platform lesson number five this is piggybacking off of the last lesson, but invest more and speculate less. Putting money into crypto is very speculative, and therefore you are taking a lot of risk if you're putting your entire portfolio into crypto. Don't want to take my word for it? Well, then maybe you'll take his. People should not invest uh, their life savings in cryptocurrency. 
okay. to be clear. I think that's unwise. But it should be considered speculation at this point. Um, and so, you know, don't, don't go too far on the crypto speculation part. Putting money into crypto at this stage in its infancy is not quite investing. It is speculating that maybe these projects will get adopted and they will continue to go up in price. If you want to invest your money for your future, consider index funds or rental real estate, which should comprise a larger allocation of your portfolio if you want to mitigate risk. I know far more people who built generational wealth investing instead of speculating, and I know far more people who lost everything speculating instead of investing. Unfortunately, we only hear about the lottery winners or the Dogecoin millionaire in the media, but they are the exceptions. It's the same reason a plane crash is a big news story. It's so rare. Lesson number six, don't put money into crypto that you cannot afford to lose. We've already established that crypto is pure speculation right now. I know you've probably heard this before, but it pains me to see on Twitter how many people are hurting for not practicing this rule. Lesson number seven, understand the risk. Before you put money into anything, whether it's crypto, the stock market, or even real estate, be sure to understand all the risks. You cannot effectively accept the risk that you're taking if you don't understand the risk. Ask questions and get clarification first. And last but certainly not least, lesson number eight, not your keys, not your crypto. I'm sure you've already heard this as well, but it cannot be said enough right now. If you're not in control of the keys to your crypto, you don't own your coins. You give up control of your crypto the moment you deposit it on a centralized exchange. Practice safe, I mean practice self-custody. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay hungry and I'll see you next time.